First in the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, we just recently received one of my favorite Cartiers that I've ever seen, and I think this is a great example of a watch for perhaps a non-traditional fan of Cartier brand watches in the first place. So let's find out what's so great about it right now. Today I'm showing you one of many of Cartier Rotons that we've received in the past. This is far and away my favorite Cartier watch for the simple reason that there is so much variety in it. Uh, they have a ton of different sort of models, layouts, complications, and looks. And of course, I think it is a great modern looking timepiece for someone who is not a fan of very traditional type of dress watches. So that means kind of Cartier's bread and butter. Doesn't really excite me the way it does some people, but the Rotonde is a clear exception to that rule. And I'm going to show you why right now. Uh, but first, to get in a little bit of history on the Rotonde, uh, Cartier actually introduced this model in 2006. Now around this time, you could uh, I think this is sort of when watches started getting more modern in terms of their sizing. People started wearing much larger watches. And of course, that left Cartier in, a, in an unusual situation because they are known for their very small traditional dress watches, such as the tank. And this goes for both the men and women's line. Uh, but as especially the style started going a bit more sportier, they did uh, release some more sportier models that they have since discontinued around this era. And at the same time, also introduced the Rotonde, which is a much larger watch, but still sort of keeping in the tradition of Cartier, and it is still very much an iconic type of Cartier design. They didn't stray too much from what makes the brand what it is, and that's what I love. They didn't give up a lot of their identity by making a more modern dress watch, but they still made it look absolutely incredible, and unlike really a lot of other watches that Cartier's made in the past. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing you'll notice is the size. It's probably a lot larger than some other Cartier's you've seen. This is a 42 millimeter case, and the case is in white gold. This is one thing that's going to set it apart from the Ronde Solo. The Ronde Solo was a steel watch, uh, or predominantly a steel watch, and sort of their entry-level model. The Rotonde is anything but that. This is probably the most complicated model they have made. Not just this one, but they come, uh, this model comes in a variety of different dial layouts and different complications and movements, a flying tourbillon, skeleton dials, perpetual calendars, and things of the like. That's not what this particular watch does, but that's one of the reasons why I love the Rotonde and why fans of the top echelon of European watchmaking should be fans of it too, because this is when Cartier really flexes their muscles in terms of what they can do with a timepiece. This particular watch is gorgeous, and it's got some of my favorite type of dial layouts and complications that you can see. Mainly, the first thing you'll notice is an incredible eight-day power reserve. So I both love that this movement can power the watch for eight days, and that they also do have the indicator on the dial. It's one of my favorite things. It's, it's just so great that you're able to see exactly how much power your watch has. It's kind of one of the things that separates this from so many other watches. And I think it's just really convenient to have, uh, especially if you're someone who collects a lot of watches or has a lot of watches that you possibly alternate between wearing, which I imagine the owner of this timepiece would be that type of person. And if that's you, then you should be listening to this part. Another one of my favorite things, this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it does have an oversized double date window here at uh, seven o'clock. I just absolutely love an oversized date window and the fact that it has two uh, two different digits here. I just absolutely love that. And a separate seconds hand, which is what I think is so interesting, slightly off-centered. So this is not a centered seconds hand. It's also not exactly at five o'clock. It is barely off-centered to the you know lower right-hand corner of this watch. And that's probably one of my favorite things about the Rotonde, if you don't consider the incredibly complicated movements that can come inside them, is the absolute, the layout of the watch and the use of space. Uh, the way that they absolutely layer this, this watch has so much going on, and yet it is so incredibly clear. You still get this incredible guilloche pattern that is known for all of these fancy Cartier watches, and you still get the oversized Roman numerals. So they were able to do all of this with the dial without giving up any of the brand signature that sort of make Cartier what, what it is, and it's still an incredibly easy to read watch, which is something that you do run into a lot of problems with overly complicated dials and movements. Now we flip this over in the back. This actually has a very unique movement in the Cartier line. Of course, it is an eight-day power reserve manual winding movement, and I do love the fact uh, that, you know, uh, again, going back to why I love 
power reserve indicator so much. It's a very practical thing to know if it is mainly a manual wind watch. So even if you have a huge collection and you're putting all your watches in watch winders, that's not going to help you with this one. So knowing exactly where you are in that eight day long power reserve is a very convenient thing for any watch collector to have. Now the movement itself, uh, this is uh, you do have all of the jewels visible in this incredible exhibition case back. Uh, not a whole lot visible here, but that's also because this is actually uh, what they call a 9910 caliber movement. I believe every Cartier that's going to be manual wind with an eight day power reserve is going to have this caliber. And it's actually a JJ LeCoultre movement, not an in-house Cartier movement, but that can be expected, of course. Cartier known predominantly as a jeweler and also as sort of a watch designer. So they did outsource this movement to JLC, but it is incredible and it goes with this watch so incredibly well. This is an 18 karat gold, white gold case with this beautiful exhibition case back. And of course, we also have the white uh, gold deployant as well. This is really the I would say the watch collector's Cartier. If perhaps your collection is uh, mostly Patek Philippe's, Vacherons, and more of the higher, uh, more of the fine watch making and timekeeping type of brands, you might not have a lot of Cartiers in your collection or really have been shopping for them in the past, but the Rotonde is the model that should get your attention. Even if you have no interest in owning a tank or a Roadster or anything like that, the Rotonde is a model that deserves your attention. Even if this particular one might not be what you're looking for, they get a lot more complicated and a lot more impressive than this. So keep your eye out on this movement, whether or not you're looking for this one or another Cartier in our inventory. We have a ton. And of course, it's not just for the 18 karat white golds. We got a wide variety of Cartiers and of course, a ton of other brands before. That's if you don't know who we are. If you are, you should be liking and subscribing to this channel already and giving us a call so we can get the next time piece on your wrist at SwissWatchExpo.com.